Hello everybody, welcome back to Siberia 2. We are starting in the monastery, and the last we left off, Hans is sick, and that's why we're going to the monastery, to see if we can get the monks to help him out. I'm going to be watching it on my TV this time, and um, so I'm gonna, you're going to see the side of my face probably. As a matter of fact, let me um, fix where I am on this. There we go. This is exact. No, this isn't where we left off. We went inside. I no, no, this is exactly where we left off. As a matter of fact, I still think she looks kind of creepy like that, and she doesn't run. So okay, we got matches out here, and I think I don't think there was anything else to look at. I want to kind of just go inside. I think this is actually where I originally left off the very first time I played right here. I went definitely went no further than this. So this is all officially fresh to me. Just for the sake of talking, I'm just going to explain the reason why I'm looking up at my TV. First off, my TV is obviously much bigger, and it's in 4K, and I can see it better. But also, um, I turned the brightness down on my computer because I was having such an issue with the glare in my glasses. So until I get glasses that are just better suited for my situation, you know, I might have to do it this way. Okay, let's read this. This is really amazing work all the same. That looks exactly like the other one, right? Whiling away those celibate hours. <laughs> How do you really Hello? feel? Oh. Anybody there? That's kind of cool. Uh, excuse me. What? A woman? Women are expressly prohibited. What the devil are you doing here, woman? My name's Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from New York. I have a friend who is really sick. In the village, I was told that... We must all brave the ordeals the Lord sends us, my child. That's a really... Yeah, okay. A sensitive thing to say. My friend is named Hans Varlberg. He has devoted his life to making fantastic mechanical machines. His automaton soothed the harsh daily labor of the people of his day, and amused them, entertained them, He's a genius inventor, you know. Hmm. An inventor, you say? The inspiration of such people is often cowed to humility before the marvels of God's own creation. Excuse me, but I absolutely must speak to you, and your monks wouldn't let me in. Miss Walker, your female presence in this dwelling of monastic retreat is unwelcome. It is very... troubling. Please leave quickly. I have come to ask the assistance of the priest healer in the monastery. My friend is very unwell, and very old. Sometimes a body weary of life refuses treatment. That is why we here tend to the soul. From what element is your friend suffering? A high fever. It started with a kind of fit. He fell... Sometimes we have to just accept the inevitable, my child, and resign ourselves to the call of time. You don't understand. Maybe Hans is old and frail, but he has but one desire, to continue his journey. We have to learn how to meet our fate, my child. This is God's will. My friend needs treatment. You are the only one for miles around who can give him the care he needs. I need a sign from the Almighty or else I can do nothing for your friend. I am sorry, Miss Walker. I wonder if he'd feel the same way if he was sick and dying. Not that Hans is dying. But I wonder if, you know, if he was in that vulnerable situation if he'd feel the same exact way as his attitude towards Kate right now. 
Please forgive my slightly cavalier methods to get to see you, Father. But my cause is just, I assure you. I have no need of assurance, my girl. Remember, you are here beneath the gaze of the Almighty. I really need your help, Father. You're our only hope. My girl, I attend only to extreme cases, grave illness, and madness. But this is an extreme case, Father. There is a rule, Miss Walker. You must respect it. Bring me the imprint of your friend's suffering. I have it. I know what you were telling me. I brought the shroud. Show me, my child. Right. We will go search for your friend. That's our man. He's got something. Canton? I can barely hear you. What news have you got? I, I talked to the hotel guys, Mr. Martin. She checked out a barrel bat last week. Headed off with Hans Horlberg. How is she? Seems her health is fine, Mr. Martin, but, uh... What? Her behavior seems... Don't beat about the bush, Canton, please. Look, Mr. Martin, it's like this. I'm afraid that Miss Walker has been acting... Uh, how do you say? Differently. Oh, that's kind of cool. Did you sleep well, my child? Yes, yes, thank you. How is Hans? Alas, you brought him to us so late, my child. I fear we cannot do much. We are going to concentrate on tending to his soul. What? What did you say? The man is worn and old. His final hour is upon him. Oh, that's but that's impossible. Your friend is dying. You must believe me, my child. I don't know if I do, actually. I don't know if I believe him. It's horrible that, you know, if, if he is dying, that's horrible. And if he isn't dying and they're just giving up on him, that's horrible, too. Please take care of Hans, father, please. Torment yourself no longer, my girl. I will tend to the poor soul. Can I see him? No. I do not advise it. Deranged minds are often too addled by evil, and you could become contaminated by its sly malevolence. Look, contagion doesn't bother me. I've got to talk with him, you understand? The rules, Miss Walker. Remember the rules. No one talks to the sick. I just can't abandon Hans like that. I must see him immediately, you hear? Okay. So be it. Your friend is in the last chamber at the end of the corridor. I beseech thee, my girl, pay no heed to the imprecations of a sick, delirious, dying man. I will wait for you in the chapel when everything is over, for the formalities you understand. I'm glad she stood up for herself. At least I can run again. At the end of the corridor is this... Okay, so this is this end. So, I just want to see something, actually. Ah, stop it! <laughs> Come on, Kate. There was nowhere to go here, right? Oh, there we go. That's cool. I don't think these guys will talk to me. I can't get that close to him, anyway. Ooh, I want to go in here. Ooh. I'm probably going ahead of myself. But I like to explore. 
Ooh, what is this? What is this? <sighs> this casket gives me the creeps. Okay. What's he digging for? He can't tell you. Can I go a little further down this way? No. I probably should just go talk to Hans. Sorry that I wasted the time. Oh, wait. As I proceed to go further. Ooh, what is that? I cannot read that. And... I can't read that there either because I dimmed it. Because... Okay. What on earth is that? What on earth is that? Oh, okay. Okay, so we just went to a big circle. Is that what that was? Okay. Okay, so here is where we were in the beginning of this episode. Or only a few minutes ago, and now we're here. So we're going to go through this corridor right here. I think this is a corridor. That or... I'm completely wrong. Oh, I'm completely wrong. Oh, okay, so... I gotta go through the door. And then through that door, at the end of the cor corridor, is Hans. Oh yeah, what I wanted to show... I know, guys, I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, like the little... When she runs these puddles, you can see the water ripple. I think that's really cool. Anyway. So I think this game came out. I don't remember when this game came out. But, uh... You can tell by the style of the graphics. It's not exactly the most recent game. So it's still kind of cool that they were able to do that. This is cool. It's a cool angle for a cool hallway. I cannot go any further than that. Oh wow, okay, so yeah, I spiraled, okay. So... I cannot go any further that way. Anything here I can look at or take? What am I doing? Oh no, what am I doing? I should not be doing this. I should not be doing this. I should not be- Okay. Can we get out of this? What? Can we get out of this, please? Yeah, I need to talk to Hans. I'm sorry, everybody. I totally screwed this up. Oh, no, no, no. What did I do? I think I'm supposed to put matches on that and then light these things. Okay. 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 No, no, no. No, 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 no. Please, please stop. Can I get out of this? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will come back. This is clearly a puzzle. And I will do it later. Oh, where the hell is Hans? This is not where I'm supposed to be. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Okay, how was I supposed to find that? Okay, I didn't realize they were doors. Okay, 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 everybody, okay. Don't judge me. I discovered new things along the way. What's this? If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. It's a table. It's working. As, it's, as it stands. Hans? Hans, can you hear me? Kate, where are we? Don't you worry. 
You're in very good hands. We cannot carry on our journey in these conditions, Hans. You are ill. You have to be cared for. I... I must go, Kate Walker. I said I'd keep you company until we reach Siberia. I brought you here to be treated. We don't have the time, Kate. We've got... We've got to go to Siberia, Kate Walker. <laughs> Calm down, Hans, please. No! No! <laughs> Hans, we're at the monastery. Do you remember? In Valadilan, it is 7.15 p.m. Father is always punctual. He never stays at home. He always goes to the factory. He locks himself in his office and... No, Hans. Valadilen is where you were born. Here, we're in Romansburg. Valadilen is miles away. We're going to take care of you. Alexei. Find Alexei Tukianov. Alexei Tukianov? Alexei. He has lived with the Yukals. He can cure me. They were mentioned in the uh, university in the last series. I think it was ep episode two of the last game. Oh, this is that bird guy? Who is Alexei? An old monk. A friend. He knows about you call medicine. Why do you want me to find this monk, Alexei? Alexei? He can treat me. Hans, do try to be reasonable. Nobody here can treat you better than the old patriarch. Alexei knows you call medicine. The old patriarch is an ass! <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you, Hans. I 100% agree with you. So you really think this monk can cure you? <laughs> Alexei can cure like the shaman. Shaman are the right doctors for me. <coughs> yeah, I think I would just go with Hans's gut instinct on this one. I mean... Yeah, something... I, I don't know. I just, I just believe Hans. I just... Okay. It seems you rate the Yukels for their medicine. You call shaman medicine is very strong. Hans, all that shaman malarkey is nonsense. You know that. The Yukols know a lot of things, Kate Walker. A lot of things. I'll be back soon. Okay, Kate. I don't get... Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Cheese and dry bread. Yummy. Yeah, it's food. I bet you're hungry. Everything's probably yummy to you. And then I can't look any... Okay. So that monk is eavesdropping. Yeah, that's the bird guy, I think. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Hey, you like to eavesdrop. Eavesdrop? No. I clean and clean, that's all. I've just spoken to Hans. Ha, 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 and what news do you bring, my sister? Um, he spoke to me of one of your brothers, named Alexei. Ah, Tempus Edax Rerum. <laughs> Brother Alexei is not of this world, my sister. He died? So you don't know this Alexei, do you? No. No. <laughs> Omnis homo mendax. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're saying. Come on, you must know where Alexei is. <laughs> Mors ultima ratio. <laughs> I wish I knew Latin. I can outsmart this guy. No, I want to keep talking to you. I want to keep talking to you. I had other options to say to you. Alexei was a man of God and my friend. He lived away from the monastery for many years among the strange you call people wait 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 no no I wanted to read more of it there we go sister Alexei was a man of God and my friend he lived away from the monastery for many years among the strange you call people and their stories of the great mammoths of old that were divine to them I am no wise monk far from it but i have prayed to god long enough to understand that he takes many different forms in the imaginations of men 
This might help you. The key is in the light of the mammoth's eye. So that little light puzzle we were doing before by accident. That's, um... That's gonna probably give me a clue on to where he is. And let me, uh... I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. There we go. That's pretty cool. Okay, you know what? Before I try that light puzzle, I want to see if there's any clues on how to do the light puzzle. Ooh, what's this? Brush. Okay. Oh, we can probably uh, brush off the um, tombstone we saw out there. Can I go in this door? door? In this one? I guess not. So that's what we'll do. Stop it. <laughs> I'm saying stop it uh, whenever I do the wrong thing on the controls. Or the angle of Kate, her uh, point of view. The camera angle, I should say. Changes when I don't want it to. It's not this one. Here we go. What on earth is that? Now come on, brush it. What on earth is that? Brush it. That won't work. That was the brush, right? Yeah, that's the brush. What on earth? What on earth is that? Okay, clearly this isn't what it's meant for. The only other thing that said it needed to work... Ooh, what's this? That's cool. Is my dog in the room and she's sneezing? I thought my dog was sneezing. It's actually the game. Mm. It's the guy digging. Kind of steep. But with the sled, I could slide down the slope. There was a sled? Um, there was a sled? Find a sled. She said it like she saw a sled. I don't remember us seeing a sled. Okay. I want to go back into the room and see if I'm supposed to brush the table. Just because the table... It said if that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. And it was just a regular table. So I'm wondering if maybe if you clean off the table, you brush it off. Maybe, um... Maybe there's like something on the table. Hmm, that's not meant for that. Well, at least I know. Come on, get out of here. Come on, Kate, damn it. So now I need to find a sled, so let's go back. Oh, wait. So I'm not going in there again. I wonder if I have to go all the way back down to town at all. The wheel. Oh, there's something here now. This wasn't there before. I would have grabbed it before. Shears. I don't know what I need the shears for. Doesn't look like that works. What am I supposed to do with this again? It's already activated. Now what do I need to do? Doesn't look like that. If that's going to work. Yeah. I need something else to activate it. Matches, maybe? Because I found. Ma Wait, is this where I found the matches? Okay. Is this what I do? I need something. If that's going to. I need. S I guess something goes in there. I've got no time to lose. I must convince the Patriarch to help Hans. Okay, so I stay up here. So, at least now I know to continue My to name look. is Kate Walker. And you are? Not gonna talk to me. Sorry, I... Okay, so at least now I know I stay up here for this mission. So do I use the matches? I need something. If that's going to. Shears. I don't think that's going to do a damn thing. I need something else.
Doesn't look like that works. Doesn't look like that works. Yeah. This game isn't always easy with figuring out the puzzles. I'm- I, I'm missing something obvious. I'm sure of it. Okay, so... There's gotta be more to this little graveyard. There's gotta be. So, I'm gonna try everything on this, um... So, first we'll try the shears. Like, maybe you can cut those vines off, right? Is that what that is? Vines? There we go! I figured it out! I couldn't tell, like... If it was just dirty, or vines, or whatever. There you go. Alexi, there he is. So he did die. Herbs and brambles. I don't know why I need that. Anything else? I just want to make sure there's nothing else I can do. Make a curative candle for Hans. Now, how would I, how do I know to do that? I, I didn't read a book or anything. I'm missing something. I jumped ahead somewhere. This is... How do I know to make a curative candle from the Yukols? Was that mentioned in the first episode when we were in the universe- the first... Game? In the university? When we, um... Went to the university? Oh wait, I can read this? I don't know if there's anything to read or if they just meant like to like examine it. Hmm, that's not meant for that. It's a damn table, though. Hmm. Yeah, we did that's that already. That's not meant for that. Hmm. That's. Hmm. That's not meant for that. Hmm. Well, then I have no idea, Kate Walker. Should I go talk to Oscar? Hans? I don't think there's anything else I can ask this guy. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. I'll be back soon. Okay, Kate. So make a curative candle. Is that that machine where we need to find something to activate it? So should I put the... The whatever this is. I'm calling it the vine. Herbs and brambles. Is that where I put in that little machine thing? Uh, in the, in the, you'll see. Cause I'm, yeah, I, I'm fumbling my words here. I need something. Uh oh, how will it work? I need something. Doesn't look like that. Doesn't look like. Okay, well, I do put that stuff in there. But now it's a matter of... So wait, do I need to find the sled now? Do I have to do that next? Oh, the sled helps me escape from the monastery. So that may be the last thing. I have no... Okay. Is, is there more here?
casket gives me the creeps. Yeah, but is there anything to it? <sighs> this... Okay. <sighs> this... I hope they're not thinking of putting haunts in there. Why do you gotta get all, like, cryptic about it? Am I done with this? Okay. Search the monastery for clues concerning the lens. I can't talk to these guys, right? So, should I try to talk to the patriarch again to see if he gives me any clues? I don't know if that's a good idea. I would imagine that the puzzle with the light... I mean, I don't know because I don't know how to do it. I don't even see anything here that's like a... Oh, maybe... I don't know. I was gonna say maybe that circle of can... Hello, that... father. Oh, hold on. Hello, my child. I was saying there's a chandelier above him with candles, maybe. If a certain pattern of them were turned on, maybe that's the answer, but... They were all lighted. And it looks like I could talk to him again, so let's see. You really can't do anything for Hans? His destiny is not in mortal hands. We must pray, dear girl. Pray for his redemption. Yeah, this is like dragging out. But Hans out. has no reason to repent. His fever-driven outpourings are not those of a holy man. Oh, far from it. This is like dragging out. Can we just, like, get to the point? Hans Varlberg is not a sinner. The pagan fantasies with which he sullies the air in his delirium are those of a heretic. Pray, female, pray to save your friend from the sizzling fires of hell. You, you're a total crackpot. You're a fanatic. <laughs> I will talk to Hans. You hear? <laughs> Let's get to the we mission. We absolutely <laughs> must continue our journey. We must. Don't even think about it, child. Mr. Vorlberg is in no fit state. Hans Varlberg is going to see his dream come true. You hear me? Wretched girl. His dreams are almost at an end and there is nothing you can do. I talked to Hans. Yes. He seems better. It is but an illusion, my girl. His mortality is teetering on the brink. I know about these things. He told me about a monk who could help him. And what monk might that be, Miss Walker? A monk who has spent long years with the Yukols, that mysterious tribe from the far north. Uh, your friend is clearly very sick, my poor child. Father, do you know a man named Alexei Tukianov? He was a heretic and charlatan. He is not worth the breath, my girl. It seems Hans Varlberg considers him highly. Your friend must have lost his marbles. But could I just meet the man anyway? No. Alexei Tukianov has left us. A long time ago, Miss Walker. So maybe he really isn't dead, they just put a tombstone up because, like, he's dead to them? I don't think Hans is delusional when he tells me that this mysterious monk can help him. He's very lucid. Please, dear girl, lend no credence to the rantings of a dying sinner. It is clear the man is inventing nonsense tales in the vain hope of remission. I want to go through all of the dialogue, like I said in the last episode, to make sure I don't miss any clues. But at the same time, they're dragging this out. We get it. She believes Hans, he doesn't. We, we, like, to just get to the point quick, quickly. That's one thing I don't like with this game with the just how heavy the dialogue is and a lot of it is just nonsense and wasteful. Excuse my insistence, father, but where might I be able to find Alexei Tukianov? It's very important. Alexei Tukianov is dead, my girl. May his soul rest in peace. May his soul rest in peace! Hans often told me about the mysterious people of the far north, the Yukels. They are degenerate heathen savages that worship idols and false gods and resist the redemption of the Lord. 
Hans lived among them for a long time. They're like a second family to him. Please, dear girl, do not let yourself succumb to the quaint temptations of those pagans. Their only ambition is to wallow in their so-called primitive paradise, and all its lechery and bestiality. Remember that those who live far from God doom themselves to eternal chastisement. Okay, we're done Okay, with I think I've heard all I need. I'm off. Yeah. Go, my child. But weigh the consequences of your actions well. <sighs> we definitely need another monk to talk to us. I'm not missing anything in here, am I? Okay, we need to figure out... Um... The pattern of the... That chandelier thing. The... With the lights. Up top. In that... Yeah, in th that room. Do I go back and talk to Hans again? I'm gonna try to. Hans? Mm hmm? No, oh, okay. I'll be back soon. Okay, Kate. Can I? I really can't go any further up to the window? Okay. And, yep, there really just is not a clue in here for me. Something with the damn table, though. Maybe I just put the candle there. The curative candle. So I'll go back to that tombstone and see if she says anything about it eighteen ninety five to nineteen ninety six so a hundred and one years old so I'll go do this puzzle but I don't know if all of them need to be lit or if only like a handful of them need to be lit in the correct pattern I really don't know. Oh, I can go up here now. Oh, I can go up here now. I wasn't able to go up here before. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let me figure this out. Um, the ones that I guess that's the the candles. So let me get a look at this angle, this camera angle. So is it just not one, two? All right, hold on. Let me do this one. I think it's the one more, right? Nope, wait. Come on. Ah, okay. Now we put it away. We did it one, two. I think I did it right. But now, what do I do? So actually, is it three or is it four? So I'm gonna, t the one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So were there actually eight candles? So there's more than eight candles though, so. Is it just a matter of the one half versus the other half being lit? Hold on. So we're gonna have to... I don't know.
we'll just have to go explore some more see where we're missing a clue because I know I'm missing a clue because it's never obvious in this game there's always something like hidden so let's go this way first okay nothing with that what's he digging for yeah she doesn't she just says the same thing nothing with that again okay Okay, so there was really nothing there. And now let's go back here to Hans. Hans? Mm hmm? Nope, nothing. Okay. I'll be back soon. Okay, Kate. So we're making our way down this way. So before we go back to the entrance, with that like cooking machine kind of thing. We'll go right back into here. There has, I don't know. There can't be anything in here though. I wonder, I don't know. Actually, do any of these say Alexi on it? No. No. This is really amazing work all the same. Whiling away those celibate hours. Wait, why? Okay. Hold on. So is there anything here, like, with the, uh, stained glass? This is really amazing nope. work all the same. Whiling away those celibate hours. Whiling away those celibate hours. So you don't light anything in here. This is oh, really oh, shut up. okay. So there's nothing to light up here, right? Are you kidding me? That worked. The brush. The brush worked. This is ridiculous. Some kind of symbol. Are you kidding me? That's the. That's the pattern. That's the light pattern. I don't know what the hell I was looking at at that other thing, but that's the light pattern. I'm looking at it over here, and it looks like there's 12 dots, kind of like the clock. So 12, 3, 4, 8, 9. 12... 12, 3, 4, 8, 9. 12, 3, 4, 8, 9. 12, 3, 4, 8, 9. I can't believe it. Pure dumb luck that I figured that out. What this about is this? really amazing work all the same. So I don't have to do it all the This is really amazing work all the same. I was just trying, like, trial and error on everything. That's insane. After all this time of exploring and looking around, that was what it was. It's never easy. So let's go do this then. I imagine it's gonna give me something with the uh, to make the candle, which is that like that cooking machine. I just want to say I have no clue what this is. Then I knew something was off with the fact that I see like eight circle uh, eight circular eight uh, circular. I see eight circular shapes on there, and it kind of looked like, you know, the top part is light lit up and the bottom part isn't, sort of. That's what I thought the puzzle was trying to do. I had no clue that the answer to that puzzle was going to be in that one hallway where the patriarch lives. No idea. This is crazy. Dumb luck figured that out. So it's twelve, three, four, eight, nine.
So where does 12 start? Where does 12? Yeah, so does 12 start there at the entrance of the room, or does 12 literally start right on top? We'll try that then. We'll try it from the way we're looking at it right now. The top. So the top's already lit. This is was that it? I don't know where the top started. So, like, do I read it now? Will it look different? Nope. Was that not it? How do you know it's it? I want to look at it one more time. I think I did it wrong. Oh, wait. So, now that I'm looking at it, the bottom is kind of like a cross, but not really like a cross. So, should it be... Should that... Where, where it's highlighted right now at the entrance, should that be 12? We're just going to... Turn all of them off. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing right now. See, it's hard to see sometimes, but the bottom, like, on the floor, it is a cross now that I'm looking at it, but before it almost looked like a weird H. Um, like, she's standing right by where the two lines connect together to make the cross sign. But... I also sort of see... I'll, like a line underneath that. It's hard to explain. So like I, I didn't realize that that was actually the shape of the cross until until I looked for it. Like oh is there like a cross to indicate where it starts? And then I saw it immediately. So my eyes were playing tricks on me. So here we go. All the lights are turned off. Good. So now we're doing it again. 12. One, two, three. This is taking way too long. Like me figuring it out, I mean. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. How wild would it have been if I had figured this out, this out when I was just messing with it earlier and I just happened to do the pattern randomly? That would have been funny as hell. Nine. So is there going to be a trigger to show that I'm right? Or a cutscene of some sort? Thank you. That's what that is. It just opens it. What am I looking at? Okay. There we go. There had to be some significance to that thing. I just didn't realize that it opened. Okay, so now... We highlight this. Okay. What? That's cool as hell. That is so cool. That is so cool. What? What? I want to look at it again. Okay, so that was put there. Of it. It's supposed to form something, I think. Stop it. Okay. What's it doing? What, what, what? What just happened?
Yeah, it showed this and made some noise. So did something happen? I feel like something was supposed to happen here and it just simply didn't, I failed. Let's try this again. Can I not? I don't know what that's supposed to do. Am I supposed to do this in order? Wait, what? I think I see something. I think I see something. Wait. It's the mammoth. Am I done with this? The mammoth is on the wall. Okay, so the eye. Where's the eye? It surrounds the circular. This thing. Why couldn't I have touched that before? Really, I was messing, trying to mess with it. So that opened up, and. Okay. Secrets. Alexi. I'm not gonna bother pronouncing the last name, that's why I haven't been saying it. Notes and sketches. Excuse me. From the frozen north. Oh my god, I have to read all this. No, 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 I hate reading. I'm only gonna read this page. April 15th, 1947. I loaded my bags and provisions onto a sled, pulled by several sturdy, healthy beasts, and left the Romansburg Monastery. I wonder if that's actually mammoths or if not, probably horses. I don't know, honestly. Heading northwards in search of the mysterious peoples inhabiting the vast, desolate wastes of the Siberian tundra, my superiors had conferred on me. Yeah, my superiors had conferred on me the mission of evangelizing the, those pagan tribes from their heathen, shamanic beliefs. I traveled under an assumed identity, that of a lowly trapper. It's so hard on my neck, but okay. I'll try to read it even on the computer, even though it's, um, the brightness is down. I had to be wary of the agents of the... I had to be wary of the agents of the state and of the military for whom any religious activity is suspect. They, for their part, traveled the length and breadth, 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 <laughs> they, for their part, traveled the length and breadth of eastern Siberia trying to convince the villagers of the debatable benefits of collectivism. Am I reading that right? I am. It took me several weeks. So I'm, I'm scrolling with my mouse like an idiot. It took me several weeks to accustom myself to the unfamiliar harness. That is what it says. It took me several weeks to accustom myself to the unfamiliar harness. I found no I found no dogs in Romansburg and had to make do with Yuki's purchased from a hunter. Okay. And okay, let me look back up here now. A Yukol relic. Is that it? All I can take? Okay. 
will let me look at it. I guess I gotta find a sled and I gotta make a candle, but I wanna look at this first. I can't look at it. I'm gonna go to Hans before I go to that patriarch guy, though. I'm gonna highlight it. Hans? Mm -hmm. Got interesting. It just got very interesting. Oh, I can't talk. I'll be to back him. soon. Okay, Kate. I don't put it here, do I? If that's going to. Oh, I do put that there. Do I put that there now, though? Hmm, that's not meant for that. Is it not? Hmm, that's not meant for that. That's not what I meant to do that second time anyway. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Did I screw this up and I was supposed to put something in there? Oh, you know what? Hold on. If you look up at the top right, it looks very similar. Never mind. I'm not going to say it. What, was I not supposed to put that there? Yet, I figured if I put it down and it, it went wrong, it wouldn't let me. And I figured, worst case, it would let me pick it back up again, and it did not stop it, Kate. I think I screwed that up. Was there something else? I'm gonna go talk to the Patriarch, see what he says. Okay, so let's try talking to the Patriarch. And see... What... He says. Hello, Father. Hello, my child. Oh, we can't talk to him yet. Okay, okay I think I've heard- Yeah, okay. Go! I'm gonna get out of this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do I do? So find a sled and make it candle. Okay, let's get out of here. And before I do, can I? Okay. Oh, there's more. There's more. These are the beasts. The Yuki is related to both seals and dogs. So I wasn't wrong. It wasn't mammoths or horses that they used to ride out. In the wild, the Yukis live on riverbanks. It is. An easy capture for the trapper, as its gluttony is well documented. In winter, it gorges itself on orange salmon, a prey that is often that often has to share in the wild with the fierce Siberian bear, another creature very partial to the fish. That's a yuki. In the the top picture is the yuki. The bottom picture is a Siberian bear. Eating an orange salmon. There's more Yuki. They're kind of cute. Once tamed, the Yuki is an inf is an affectionate but whimsical animal. It resists all forms of discipline, training, and only if there are no dogs available is it used to pull sleds. Certain Arctic, so, yeah, certain Arctic peoples have <laughs> certain Arctic peoples, however, seem to have better mastered the secret of their domestication, and the Yuki is central to their daily activities. Of all the peoples who inhabit these godforsaken regions, I find the Yugols the most fascinating. Perhaps that is why I headed for those regions where I was... Where I... Alright, hold on. Perhaps that is why I headed for those regions where I was most likely to encounter them, and that is a Yugol religious mask. Representing the sole messenger who guides the dying to the other world, the Yugols are fearful of him.
The journey was long and dangerous. It wasn't until October 27th, 1947, that for the first time I made contact with the yokels. Yokels. I have spent long months living among them. I have come to know them and to understand them for who they are. I'm reading fast on purpose because I don't want to keep reading. I soon abandoned any notion of converting them. I applied myself instead to the study of their mores and customs. I, s all right. I applied myself instead to the study of their moves and customs. Okay. I gotta. Okay. So little is known about the U. E so little is so little is known about the Yukols. Less less than is known of any inhabitant of the frozen north. Today they live far, far away at the farthermost tip of the Siberian tundra. Because of their remoteness and their inhospitable climate, the Yukols have remained small in number, overlooked by their scientific community and the Soviet government machine. I'm gonna look back up here. The only documents available before my departure were several drawings, notes, and photographs taken a hundred years ago by a Russian explorer, Marie Bojanov. Forgive me the pronunciation. It is to her we owe what little is of the Yukol people and its culture. The Yukols The Yukols hark back in, oh, the Yukols hark back to the last ice age. Curiously traces, or curiously, traces of their presence have been found in Western Europe, more precisely in the heart of the French Alps, in the prehistoric caves of Valle de Lens. This suggests that, over centuries, they undertook a long migration towards the extreme north of the globe. Wow, so maybe that's why there was a mammoth toy, and. Valley do it. Valley do it. I don't know. That's interesting that it connects to that. The sacred harfang. Do I, how much more of this do I have to read? This bird is often inseparable from the Yukol shaman. It seems to be considered, in turns, as his friend, representative, and even as his incarnation. Oh God! How many more? There's so much. Yep, wait. Okay. Lemmings congregate on the open plains of Siberia. They feed on the greens and small fruit that they store in their holes to face the scarcity of the winter months ahead. Lemmings dig deep tunnels in the ice to escape their predators. The hunters they most fear are harfangs who seem to find lemming something of a delicacy. Yeah, we're just gonna... On several occasions during my journey, I encountered traces of Yukol's society far to the west of the areas we know today. Along forest trails, I discovered small piles of carefully piled stones, altars on which Yukol hunters made ritual offerings to one of their pagan gods. We now know the reason for the Yukol's long migration. Their domestic economy was, it seems, directly linked to the mammoth. They used the mammoth for both transport and as beasts of burden for meat, skin, fat, and ivory. It is beyond doubt that we are dealing with a genuine case of symbiosis between man and animal. Mammoths were forced north by changing climatic conditions, and the Yukols followed. Some prehistoric cave drawings identified as being a, of Yukol orange, origin have led the scientific community to conjecture that at, that at one time the Yukols realized the incredible achievement of domesticating mammoths. They are, to our knowledge, the only prehistoric people to have represented a man astride a mammoth. Okay, I'm not appreciating these drawings like I should. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Yuko life was thus intimately linked to that of their pachyderms. 
I don't know. They use their hides for clothing and to build roofs, walls. To build roofs. <sighs> they use their hides for clothing and to build roofs, wall, and houses. They use their tusks to construct the frameworks of their dwellings and for weapons, tools, and jewelry. Curiously, the disappearance of the mammoth 12 yeah, 12,000 years ago had no immediate impact on the Yukol's way of life. It seems that they were able to retain the strong link that tied them to mammoths throughout millennia. As incredible as it might seem, Yukols still feed on mammoth meat today and use mammoth hide for clothing and to roof their dwellings. Their craftsmanship of mammoth ivory is altogether remarkable. One second. Okay, I just realized you're not seeing the words because I'm blocking them. Okay, now I'm fine where I am. It appears that the Yukols have managed to retain their ancestral habits by using over the years the many frozen mammoth bodies that are perfectly preserved in the frozen Siberian wastes. They are said to have lived off this enormous pantry for more than 30 centuries. To do this, they have hollowed out a vast network of caves in the frozen ground according to the intrepid explorer Marie Bojanov. Yukol civilization has now gone underground. Interesting. Sorry for not being able to read along. If I was covering the words, I'm sorry. Specialists in the paleontology department of St. Petersburg have never cre credited Yukol myths and legends. However, the legend of the Siberian ice arc is typical of such folklore. It has long been considered a fable told by shaman in the evening to ward off the boredom of the long Siberian winter months. The legend tells that somewhere on a lost island to the north of the tundra, there still exists live mammoths, relics of the long gone ice age, a tiny population that has been preserved for more than 12 centuries under Yukol care. The island the island the pachyderms inhabit is called Siberia. So there's a, so this go, goes with uh, what Hans believes that there's actually live mammoths. To my notes, I add the tale of this legend as Marie Bojanov related it in her memoirs. It agrees on all points with statements from you calls I had the fortune to meet. Although this story constitutes no proof of the existence of the island of Siberia, it forms a tantalizing hypothesis. Okay. So this is interesting. Whoa, what did I do? Scarlet Bramble. Oh, Bramble, isn't that what I have? Why is it? Why is it? Okay. Scarlet Bramble. Infernus Rubus. And oh, now we're talking Latin. Bluegrass. Fossilized plant life, right? When fall arrives, the odor of its flowers is so strong that it is known to awaken hibernating yuki. So this... Wait, that's the the bramble or the blue, bluegrass does that? Scarlet bramble mixed with walrus blubber or tallow. This scarlet bramble is frequently used in yuko medicine. The fumes released by burning it have considerable healing properties. The shamans recount that the plant only grows on the tomb of one whose soul is at peace. The Legend of Siberia At the end of the last ice age, there were huge climatic changes. Much of the land was flooded by water. This sudden environmental variation put the existence of a number of animal species in danger, including the mammoths that inhabited the lands of the Siberian North at that time. The Yukols, a particularly advanced people for the age, set about the construction of an enormous ark like that of Noah with the objective of preserving the mammoths, objects of religious devotion from extinction. The enormous craft was entirely constructed of mammoth tusks and was loaded with a small herd of beasts and huge quantities of fur. 
The fate of the ship was entrusted to several particularly courageous members of the Yukol clan. Their mission was to lead the animals towards more welcoming clim climates, I guess? Is that what we're supposed to say? Once such lands were discovered, it was agreed that they would unload the animals and then come back to spread the findings of their good fortune. It wasn't until 10 years later that the Ark returned to its starting place. The Yukols who had remained on the continent were surprised to find the ship empty, but for the perfectly preserved bodies of several mammoths in the ice that packed the bot all right that packed the bottom of the ship they took this mysterious offering as a sign from the gods and ate the mammoths in a memorable feast interesting i really hope this ends after this page i i hate reading this a week later carried along by ocean currents the ark set sail again once more, it returned ten years later with more frozen mammoths on board. The phenomenon continued. The phenomenon continued for millennia. Every ten years, the ark would reappear, each time filled with immaculately preserved mammoths. The Yukols interpreted the phenomenon as an act of benevolence on the part of the souls of their. All right, I gotta look up here. The Yukols interpreted the phenomenon as an act. Of benevolence on the part of the souls of their congeners of, of their congeners who had died during the ark's first journey in some infernal maritime cataclysm they made a religion of the ark with its own rites and customs that was marked by the periodic appearance of the phantom ship and its precious cargo does this ever end? For centuries, nothing seemed to affect the Ark's mysterious roundabout. One day, however, the Ark returned earlier than expected and empty. This was a hundred years ago. The poor Yukols fell into deep despair. Everything they had believed in and everything they had believed in and had been the foundation of their culture culture since the dawn of time lost meaning. The most valiant, the most valiant tried hard to maintain hope, especially because the Ark still continued its peregrinations into the unknown, borne away on the seasonal ocean tides. But one morning, the Ark refused to set sail. Many Yukols then left their village forever, trailing their despair across the tundra. Sometimes they can be encountered in the smoke-filled drinking holes of the last outposts of civilization. These poor sodden souls drowned their befuddled minds in alcohol, recounting their unlikely mammoth tales to fellow alcoholics. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God, it, it's signed, so it should be, that should be it. When the explorer Bojanov arrived among the Yukols, she, she noted the presence of what was once a, a ship. Only the Yukols could perceive the mythical craft of their legends beneath the layers of ice that had accumulated over centuries. She put forward the hypothesis that the accumulated ice had eventually doubled the volume of the Ark and rendered it incapable of negotiating the dangers posed by floating ice in the Arctic Flow? Floating ice in the Arctic flow. I, Alexei, won't say his last name, can confirm that the observations of this audacious adventure are true. The Ark that leads to the Isle of Siberia is indeed real, and even if I have not found the formal proof, I am convinced of this Isle's existence, and that, rem and that remnants of a mammoth population may still live there today. Signed, Alexei. Won't say last name. Thank God. I finished it. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do next. 
Okay, so now let's, let's see what we have to do to make this this candle. Nothing there anymore. Okay. Ah, go back. It's already activated. Well then. I need something else to activate it. I need something else to activate it. I don't know what to do. I need something else to activate it. I don't know what to do. Wait, what happened? What, what? Oh, dude. I don't need to do that again. I did something. Oh, did that go in? Oh, that went into there? Oh, I had to put that. I had to put that into that? Is that what I'm seeing? Are you kidding me? I could have done this before. Are you kidding me? That was right there. I now have a candle. Treat Hans, and then find a sled. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Kate. Let's go. See, it's me just, like, exploring on my own, and then that's how I solve puzzles. Like, none of these are, like, direct clues. They're not easy to figure out. I just gotta keep going around, clicking on everything, until I've exhausted all possible things to click on, until I eventually figure out what I'm supposed to do. No, go on. I hope this is done soon, because it's dinner time for me. Stop it. No, I didn't mean that. Finally, the matches. Oh wow, it really brightened it up. That's cool. That's cool. That is so cool, it's making the shape of a mammoth. Bonus, I got a bonus. Does he feel better? Find a sled, leave the monastery, distract the monks to get out. You mean to tell me that they're not gonna let me leave, even though they don't want me there? Because, you know, Kate's a female, therefore they don't want Kate there. So you're gonna tell me that they're gonna make Kate stay? Or is it because they're gonna keep Hans there? Maybe. How's it going? Kate, okay. Yes. What am I doing here? <sighs> it's a long story. Are we going yet? Can you walk? I'd like to, but... Uh... Don't move, Hans. I'm going to find a way to get us out of here. A sled. So what was that bonus? It shouldn't take long. We're going to find a way to get out of here. What, Kate Walker? I've got to find a way of getting to Romansburg. Mm, good idea. 
I'll be back. Now to find a sled that I couldn't find the entire time that I was out here exploring. I wonder if that wheelbarrow, um, that's the only thing that kind of like reminds me that it would work as a sled. No? Oh, he's here now. Good day to you, father. You must leave your friend now. We're going to take him away. What? Why? He's feeling better. Father, I have found a trace of the monk Alexei Tukianov. By the saints above us, did you not heed my warnings? He is a heretic, I tell you. He is damned! Damned! Hey, just because he's interested in new cult customs doesn't make him a criminal. Yukols are a degenerate mongrel race. Emissaries of the devil. Do you hear me, poor fallen female? And you are just a woman. God forbid. <laughs> You're laying it on a bit thick there, father. I'll tell you again, father. Hans Varlberg and I are going to continue our journey. Together. Hans Varlberg is going no further, Miss Walker. Well, that's kidnapping. That's, that's, that's kidnapping. Just what do you mean by Hans Varlberg is going no further? Your friend is dying, my child. I have followed Hans' instructions, and I have managed to treat him. What? You, you dared? Don't worry, he's feeling much better. Here, in this monastery? But that is blasphemy, Miss Walker. You have to account for this before God! I mean, he's better. You should be happy that he's better. Which just shows where your true intentions are. That just shows who you really are as a person. I've come to tell you we're leaving your monastery. I prohibit you. You hear? What? But... Hans is cured now. There's no reason to hang around. He is not cured. It is an illusion of the devil. You have corrupted his soul, female, with your heathen hogwash. It is out of the question that Hans Vorarlberg leave this monastery. What happened? What happened? What happened? What's happening? No, 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 no. Son of a bitch. Is this still going? Hello, everybody. I'm back. Sorry for that. For some reason, my computer completely just uh, freaked out on me, so I don't know how much, how much of that you the, the conversation with the patriarch you saw. Basically, the uh, the sexist jerk just doesn't want to hear anything Kate has to say. Uh, so I'm just gonna finish the dialogue real quick with him, and then uh, be reasonable, father. We have to leave. Vade retro. Fallen female, and never speak to me again, you hear? Yes. Yeah, so. I warn you, I will not leave this place without Hans. War all you like, Miss Walker. Okay. Hans Vorlberg will only be leaving here in a box. We'll just see about that, Father. What a terrible attitude. So I gotta find a, uh... A uh, sled. And, wait, maybe now. The weird bit. Maybe now that we talked... Maybe now I can trigger a sled with the wheelbarrow, maybe? Nope, it's- okay, clearly that just is not in the works. To me, it just seems like the most obvious answer, though. You put Hans in there and you just push him down the slope. Okay, one second. Itchy nose. Oh, okay. So let's just go everywhere we can again, just like last time. This spot gave me luck before, let's try it here. Ooh, maybe we can go into his room now. Unless he just magically, like, appears here. Nothing- nothing along these side. I'm surprised that she's able to, like, hide away in the, this little thing, but there's no actual hallway there. Anyway. Okay. Well, stop, stop, stop. I wanted to look at the books, but I guess I can't. 
Stop it. Okay. Can we go? We can go in here. So let me look up at my TV. See if there's anything. What's this? What is that? Is that a key? An ornate key. What's it the key to? Okay, I can't like inspect it. So what's the key to? Huh. I have no clue where this key goes to. Is it... <sighs> okay, so let me look. Is it... Stop it. Yeah, there was nothing down this way with there that would need a key. Okay. okay, there's only two places where the the key would make any sense, and that's where we just where we came up the monastery in the very beginning, or the room with all with that big chandelier with the lights with that puzzle that we did. So is it this? Pushing the wrong buttons. Nothing to do with this. Father, I... Miss, you cannot count on me to help. But I have your key. You mean you refuse to let us leave the monastery? Nobody's holding you back, female. Nobody. Jerk. But as for your friend, he's staying here. We have a holy mission to purify his soul before he bears it before God. This monastery will be his final resting place. No. I will not abandon Hans to your loony clutches, you fanatic. We are leaving here together with or without your blessing. You tell him, Kate. I warn you, I will not leave this place without Hans. War all you like, Miss Walker. Hans Vorlberg will only be leaving here in a box. We'll just see about that, Father. So the key probably has nothing to do with this. And I, I really would never, ever like to talk to him ever again. I don't ever want to speak to that guy ever again. I'd rather deal with those rectors at the university with the way they were talking. I'd rather deal with them all over again. Let's try in here. Maybe there's a key in here somewhere. Use of a key. Somewhere in here. Top or bottom? Let's go to the top first. Nope. I got no clue, everybody. I got no clue. What about in here? Anything in here? Nope. This key does something. Maybe the key opens up to a shed. Uh, to, uh, da -da. The key opens something up to, uh, like a room up for me to find a sled. I don't know where I got the idea of a shed from. Does the key open up a desk? It's an ornate key, though. Somewhere over here, maybe? Nope. Maybe something in Hans's room. Nope. No clue. No clue, no clue, no clue where this stupid key works. Was it back in that... Uh... Was it in here? Was there like something for me to open? Something up in here? Oh wow! Okay. Wheelbarrow? Or, not wheelbarrow. Okay. 
Got a barrel of whiskey. I'll do that in a second. Just want to make sure of something else. Oh, okay. Come on, do it. Oh, okay. Okay. So what's this going to do? Okay. That's, uh, that was the guy digging, right? The monk that was digging. So... Was that it? That just... Okay, so I guess... That was a bell that told them... Like... Something, like, I don't know, go pray or dinner time or something. So can I get out of here now? So I'll go there. I don't know what him leaving had to do with anything. Well, he was digging. Do I have to find the sled? What does that have to do with the sled, though? He was digging. What? Now what? What? Oh, okay. That casket she was saying was creepy. Okay, we're using a casket as a sled. Now let's go get Hans, right? Right, we go get Hans. What? Kate Walker. We're going. Let's go. Yay, we're going. Yes, Kate Walker. We must be quick. <laughs> He's not very quick, unfortunately. Uh-oh. Okay, cool. Bonus. No! Do not go! No! Oh, this is you so cool. Stay. Go, go, go! <laughs> he did leave in a box! <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool. Oh, that is so much fun. That's such a beautiful scene, though. That was some ride, huh, Hans? Oh, wow. Yes, it was real fun, Kate Wow. Walker. Really? And now they're back in the train. That's cool. I don't have to do all that journey. Hans? Hmm? I hope this old patriarch is finally understood. The patriarch has a very closed mind. To put it mildly, the guy's a fanatic. Mm-hmm. Are you okay, Hans? Mm. It's going to be fine, Kate. I'm just a little weary. Hans, do you think we can carry on with our journey? There's just a spot of work I haven't finished. You'll have to help me, Kate. Now what? Of course. What can I do for you? Tell me. I have repaired the clockwork heart for the horses. But I'm too tired, too weak. Can you go to the cabaret and fit it instead of me, Kate? It's all right. I'll go. Don't worry. The what? Get some rest. Oh yeah, it's that thing for for uh, what's his name? What's his name? The guy who takes care of uh, the girl, Mal Malka. So the I don't remember the guy's name. So let's go do that. And I thought we, uh, dodged all that journey of walking around this area again. You know, when right after the cutscene we ended up right at the train, I'm like, oh, we don't have to do all that walking. Oh, uh, I do. Right! Oh, now wow. jump! Jump! Those are, those are Yuki's. No? Right! Now jump! Or jump! Dog, dogs dressed as Yuki's? Right! Now jump! Jump! Dang! Get out of my sight before I stuff you in the oven, you dumb goop! 
dog dressed as a Yugi, I guess. Or just a dog, and I'm just mistaking it for a Yugi. Hi, Mr. Sirkos. Sirkos. Ah, how do, Miss Walker? Mr. Sirkos, I wanted to thank you for your hospitality. Soon we'll be leaving Romansburg. It's a mighty shame, Miss Walker. You're going to miss my mechanical stallions riding up. Shows start as soon as I get those wind-up nags to buck. I'm here for it. <laughs> I'll catch it some other time. When I came in, it looked like you were really angry with that strange, uh, dog thing. Dog? If only it were. That's a Yuki. Oh, it was a Yuki? You call Eskimos domesticated them. You call makes Yuki. Get it? A Yuki? Now, don't be fooled by appearances, ma'am. What might look like a dog ain't necessarily dog. It's a kind of cross seal and bear. With a big dose of pig, too, especially the <laughs> appetite. And you want to teach it a few circus tricks? Believe me, Miss Walker, I have tried. Yes, I have, but strive as he might. Civilized man will never squeeze anything resembling brains from this bag of swill. The animal just don't want to be tamed. Only thing it thinks of is its belly. So those horses don't work? I asked Mr. Vorlberg to have a look at them, but then he had that horrible fit like you saw. Fever, delirium, stopped him finishing the job. Maybe you know a thing or two about tinkering, Miss Walker? Well, I'm not Hans Vorlberg, but I can always try. Mr. Sirkos, Hans asked me to come to help you repair your fairground horses. Oh, that's great news! I'm mighty grateful, Miss Walker. Mr. Sirkos, are you sure you've got all the parts you need to make your fairground horses work? Why, me and fiddly machinery <laughs> don't see eye to eye. <laughs> no worries. I'll take care of it. I think I can fix your horses, Mr. Sirkos. Please be my guest, Miss Walker. Grateful wouldn't be the word. I've got to go, Mr. Sirkos. Godspeed, Miss Walker. Okay, here we go, everybody. This should be like the last thing we have to do. Let's see if, uh... Hey, what? Wait, I'm trying to highlight something and I can't. Oh, okay, I just highlight the dots. I don't have to highlight the uh, thing that goes in the dots. I imagine that's it. I need something else to activate it. I think I forgot to talk to him about something. I'm going to repair those spare ground horses. Will you come and watch the show? Yes, of course I will. Hans? Mm -hmm. See you later. Hurry back. Wait, what? Hans? Mm -hmm. A clockwork heart? What on earth is that, Hans? It's a tiny mechanism that makes the cabaret horses come to life. Hmm. But it must be real difficult to install. Oh, no. It's really very easy, Kate Walker. You will manage, I'm sure. Hans, is there anything else to do before leaving? As soon as the mechanical horses are working again, we'll be able to leave. Do you want me to take the heart to Sirkos? Sirkos is an old friend. But he is not a good mechanic. You will have to give him a hand installing it. Okay, I'm off. 
You have a rest. See you later. Hurry back. I need something else to activate it. Okay. Oh, I see. On the very, very top of this screen, you see the horse move. Okay, so... doesn't work. Will that do it? I need something else to activate it. I'm so confused. the horse should be so on the top of the screen I don't know if he should be let's try the, the last one maybe okay. I figured it's either the first or the last one it would make no sense for it to be one of the middle ones I guess I don't know Okay. I need something else to activate. I'm so confused. Okay, so I'm guessing that um right. I'm guessing that these just aren't where they're supposed to be, but I don't know where they should go. Cuz there's four right, so I have no idea. Okay, so yeah, it seems like this little one down here takes care of the first horse. That doesn't work. Okay, so when I had all of them on the center hole, that first horse moved. So I wonder what happens. That doesn't work. Oh. This is the most aggravating thing in the world. So I wonder then, so... The pipe on the far left must take care of horse number one. That second one, that small one on the left, takes care of the second horse. The small third one, the third horse, and then this other pipe on the right is the fourth horse. I'm guessing. And the horse right now is in the second spot, so let me see something. This thing's stuck. I wonder how that works. No. This thing's stuck. That doesn't work. I'm so fucking confused. You know, it doesn't really do anything now that I think about it until the horse is in that fourth spot. Let me put the horse... Okay. 
doesn't work. I need something else to activate it. Okay, so so right now they're all in the center one, and they all get the first horse to go. So what happens when I put them all in the first spot? So that's... Okay, so the first spot gets the second horse to go. I need something else to activate it. Not yet, right? So what about... The third, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so the third one gets the third and the fourth one to go. I need something else to activate it. So... Let me see something then. So if I move the... First pipe to the middle, will that also get the first horse to go? Okay, that does that. So the first horse will go. And so now we need to just figure out how to fix the second horse. I need something else to activate it. So the second horse moved when. Wait, that's the second pipe. So, I think it was that one? Okay, good. Okay, good. Good. Okay, good. I did it in the right order. Miraculously. There we go! Please tell me we're finally done. Ooh, let me go away. Wait, what's happening? I had to come back seven up. Wait, what? No way, the train left without her. The train left without her? No way. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. What about Oscar? No way. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? It's like this episode never wants to end. Unless I've moved on to a new, like, chapter and I don't know it. I don't know. He's right here, so I'll check him first. Your train! Miss Walker, it's gone without you. No shit. Really? Hans and Oscar can't have decided to leave without me. Maybe your friend Hans Vorlberg decided it was too dangerous for a pretty lady to go with him. That's impossible. I have to go with him. Right to the island of Siberia. No, really, it just isn't possible. He would have never just left like that. Someone's hijacked my train, Colonel. I just know it. It's been stolen. That's a very serious matter, Miss Walker. Do you suspect anyone particular? Hmm. Maybe I do. Who do could I... possibly have committed such an outrage? I think it just went on without you. I have to find a solution. And quick. If only I could be of help, Miss Walker. I I think it just went. Like, I think Hans and Oscar just had it. It just went. Without any warning to give to Kate. Like, I don't think they did it on purpose. I think it was just an accident. Because I can't imagine Hans and Oscar go wanting to go without her. I 
I don't know. I mean, maybe Sarkos knows? I don't know. I can't imagine Malka knowing. Are we done with this? I hope we're done with this. Mr. Sirkos, something terrible. Why? Miss Walker, what is the matter? The train. Mr. Sirkos, somebody stole the train. The train? You mean your train? But why would anyone want to rob a whole train, Miss Walker? No idea, none at all. Especially as the tracks lead nowhere. Well, not anywhere a train robber would want to go anyway. What about you, Miss Walker? Where do you want to go at the end of this line? For me, Mr. Sirkos, uh, let's just say it's a long story. Too long a story to tell an old showman. Some other time, Mr. Sirkos. You realize I must find a way to catch up with my train. Grangor? What's Gran- what Gangor? I mean, Gangor. What's Gangor? Let's do help first. Mm, say, you don't know a quick means of transportation to catch up with my train, do you? Uh, I don't know. Um, how about another train? Oh, wait a week or a month or one might uh, just chug by? That's not gonna happen, buddy. Too long buddy. to wait, I'm afraid. Sure there's no quicker way, Mr. Sirkos? Sorry, I regret to say, ma'am, that I haven't the filius foggiest. <laughs> Okay. I'm sure I saw some kind of old maintenance cart attached someplace under the rails. It's a gang car, ma'am. A vehicle car. used for repairing railroads. The maintenance service never actually use it, though. Do you think it still works? No idea. Must be rusty after all this time. Go and ask the old colonel. It's state-registered equipment, after all. He's your man responsible. Okay. I've got to go, Mr. Sirkos. Godspeed, Miss Walker. Okay, let's find a gang car. So is this what they're talking about? This is the one thing I knew that was that's what I saw in the beginning of Um this game. When I came down here was this thing. That's the only thing I can think of that was on the bottom of the track. This looks like some kind of sled. There must be some way to get it down. Should I talk to Malka then? Oh, Did you see that, Malka? The train left without me. Do you think your friend has abandoned you? No. I think somebody made him leave. I wonder if that's true. I'm thinking it's just an accident. I'm wondering if... Maybe, because she keeps saying it, maybe it's true, maybe, um... I don't know who. Should I talk to these guys? Oh, okay, what happened here? Oh no, oh no, I thought we Hello? finally... Hello? Mm. This is Oscar, Kate Walker. Oh, hell yeah. Oscar, but where on earth are you? Is everything okay? These gentlemen told me you no longer wanted to end our journey here. That you want to return to America. That the train was quite capable of starting. Oh, Kate Walker, I fear I have committed an impardonable error. Oh, is wow. Hans with you? Yes. Ivan and Igor have confined Mr. Perlberg to his chambers. These guys. Ivan and Igor? Are you saying they've sent the train rolling again? I fear something dishonest is afoot, Kate Walker. Dishonest? This is a daylight robbery. Those men have bagged the train and kidnapped the both of you. I'm experiencing a sensation of uneasiness, Kate Walker. You've nothing to fear, Oscar. I'm coming to find you. Tell me where the train is headed. Straight ahead. We haven't crossed a single junction. I will hold our speed to a minimum. I believe I can slow them down. Maybe even... Me? No, not at all. I... I was talking to myself. Why, yes, yes, I... So Oscar? These... <sighs> Oscar? These guys, these brothers that were here before, they're the ones who stole the train. I was gonna say, maybe it was either, um... I didn't think it would be the patriarch from the monastery, because I didn't think he would care that much. But I thought maybe... 
somebody from Kate's past that's trying to find her. No, that made no sense either. Like, maybe that Alexi guy is actually around here somewhere. Like, he was hiding as a monk. And then maybe he took it with Hans and they can both go to Siberia together. Siberia's white gold. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. A diva departs. That's, um... Oh, wait, what? A diva departs. Arrowbad, September 5th. Helena Romanski is no more. No, she died? No way she died. The famous diva left us during the night on Thursday throughout the 1960s. Her voice was empl emblematic of the charm of the Soviet Empire, for which she was a great ambassador. Helena Romanski sang her classical repertoire in theaters around the world, but also performed for workers in factories and foundries where she brought a new dimension to popular Russian folk songs. We shall not forget her. She was in the first game, so she actually passed away? Is that what they mean, or do they mean that she, like, when she left to come with me, and they just didn't know where she went? Did she actually die in this? I hope Helena Romanski didn't die. That's sad. I'm just gonna read this really quickly. Um... Pa the paleontolo paleontologo uh, the paleontological scientific committee the scientific committee has decreed mammoth ivory to be a protected resource for the benefit of our national heritage okay okay um the uncontrollable expansion of a black market fueled by the irrational craze of this perpetrated aphrodisiac has dangerously reduced the reserves of ivory in our country to prevent our lands from resembling Swiss cheese, the authorities have forbidden unauthorized exploration and extraction digs. Sadly, there will remain a few unscrupu unscrupu unscrupulous individuals who will continue in defiance of government authority, governmental authority. Okay, well, that was something. Okay, so what am I gonna find in here that's gonna Yuck, help me? This machinery stinks to high heaven. Is there anything here that's gonna help me? Because it doesn't seem so. I'm getting kind of annoyed and frustrated because I just want to end this episode. I keep picking games that are not easy to figure out. That or I'm just dumb. I don't know. Maybe this is another one of those back and forth things, like... Maybe... Now that I've talked to Sercos, Right, he was the last one I talked to, right? And I just talked to Oscar. So... I just talked to Oscar, so should I talk to... I'm down here, I might as well talk to Sercos. And then maybe I'll go back upstairs to the other guy, the colonel. These guys don't talk, right? No. What can I do for you, miss? So you can't help me then? I'm afraid not. Okay, I guess we're going. I've got to go, Mr. Sirkos. Godspeed, Miss Walker. I guess we'll go back to the colonel. Oh, I talked to Oscar, so maybe this This one. looks like some kind of sled. Okay. I think that's the thing, right? That's gotta be the thing. That's gotta be. Will this do anything? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that was random as all hell. Should I do it? I'm gonna go talk to the... Should I do it? I'll go go to the colonel real quick. Make sure I cover all my bases. Colonel Emiliov, I'm afraid my problems are far from over. I am sorry, Katyuchka. Truly sorry. The train's been stolen and the cart is broken. Oh, is it? Shit. Looks like my journey's stopping here, Colonel. Keep your chin up, Katyuchka. 
There must be some solution to your problem. There's always a solution. I didn't even know it was broken. I just fe figured I'd see if he had anything to say. So now I know that it's broken, so that sucks. <sighs> this whole situation is just too dumb. There must be some other way to catch these criminals. You're right, Miss Walker. The life of your friends is at stake here. Yeah, okay. I figured he'd have, he, I figured he'd have some input on the brothers. Colonel, do you think that vehicle's quick enough to catch the train? I have no idea, Miss Walker. The state register describes it as an auxiliary railroad assistance vehicle. Only to be used in cases of extreme emergency. Its maximum and cruising speeds are not recorded. It's a long shot, but it just might work. It's yours, Miss Walker. Colonel, is there any problem if I use this gang car? Unauthorized users do so at their own risk, Miss Walker. But watch out. It's a strange buggy. I have two cats in the room and they're playing and they're driving me nuts now. Colonel, is there any problem if I use this unauthorized... Okay, so... I have to find a solution. And quick. If only I could be of help, Miss Walk. Okay, set out with the gang car. Okay, I guess that's it. Right, guys, I guess we're done. Finally, right? No cutscene? Are you kidding me? What happened at- what? Uh, what? <sighs> That's all I needed. This dumb machine's packed it in. Does this ever end? Is this its own chapter and I don't know that? Usually every d new destination is a new chapter f uh, for me at least. Okay, so off to the colonel. Hmm. I really don't know what to do. Oh, you mustn't lose heart, Miss Walker. I don't know what's happened, but your railroad contraption won't budge an inch. It's not my contraption. And if you ask me, it is a bit funny looking. I'd wait for maintenance if I were you. Dude, you're obsessed with no maintenance. No way. I gotta catch those criminals as soon as I can, Colonel. I have sure, to find I, a solution. If only... I I don't think he's gonna be of any help. He's driving me nuts, and if he is, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, there there had to have been something down in their little area, the brothers' area, because Oscar called them. I could have sworn though that um I looked everywhere. And that cart is all broken. It won't work anymore. Maybe you'll need something to pull it. The wheel on the back won't work either. I need a new wheel? Did I see a new wheel? What? Oh, oh, oh. A Yuki. What's the Yuki doing here? Well, he doesn't look too smart, but still, he's kind of cute. He's come back to where he's happiest. Whatever. This place is deserted. Is it crying, though? It seems like it's not happy. Did it belong to the brothers, and now it's sad? Oh, that's the... Is that the thing that I uh, let out of here? I thought it was a dog. So what do I do with this Yuki? Well, he doesn't look too smart, but... Okay, she's saying the same thing. Yuck! This machine... Okay. Get something to feed the Yuki. Give the Yuki the fish candies so that it follows Kate. I never would have known that otherwise. So I gotta go get fish candies now. So do I... I don't have any money. I have the small key, though. A small case you get the money back to buy more of those fish candies. This must be the longest chapter of the Siberia series so far. Certainly feels that way. Is 
it has the money. Which one was I fish candy? The middle one, right? If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. You're upset at me. Fish candy, that was the middle one. Cool. He sounds so sad. Well, you're the only one here that likes these candies. So then, you're a Yuki. Now, let's see if you want to follow me. Please. Oh, okay. Please. Oh yeah, you followed me. You followed me. I got a pet. What are we gonna name it? Oh, we gotta name it something. I think you were right, Malka. Ever since I gave him those fish candies, he won't let me out of his sight. Yuck! That's gross! Only Yuki's like that kind of junk. I didn't know what a Yuki was when she mentioned it before. I wonder if we keep it as a pet. Alright, if we keep it as a pet and we keep it with us for the next episode, we gotta name it. But actually, I wanna name it now, too. I don't know what to name it, though. I don't know of any cool Russian names. Because obviously, it would need a Russian name. That would be the only fair thing since it's in Russia right now. So, I don't know, we'll have to come up with a name, and we, if we keep it, we're definitely gonna have to come up with a name. If not, I'll, I'll think of a name. Maybe I'll look into it and find a cool Russian name to give it. Let's go, buddy. We'll call hey, him Yuki, buddy in come the back here. I'll call him buddy in the meantime, because he's my buddy. This is so cool. This is so cool. I thought he pushed him out the train. She caught up real quick. No way. Okay, we're ending it here. Well, there you have it, everybody. That is the ending of episode two of Siberia 2. That was quite, a, quite an adventure. That drove me nuts. That was very difficult for me. Um... But I'm very, I'm very happy that we got to the end. It's very rewarding now that I'm at the end of this one. At the end of this episode, and we get to start all over again. And now it looks like we're in the middle of nowhere, which is kind of cool. But also, I can only imagine how difficult it's going to be in the next episode. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to think of a name for the Yuki. Matter of fact, I already took so long with this episode. Anyway, what's a few more minutes? I'm going to Google a few names. Okay, so we will not be naming it Igor or Ivan, as that is the name of the two brothers. And those, of course, are the first two names that pop up when I look up Russian names. I've decided this is a male Yuki, by the way. Until otherwise. Yeah. Here we go, Yuri. Yuri the Yuki. That, that actually... That's pretty cool. Yuri the Yuki. So we now have our pet Yuri the Yuki, and... I cannot wait to see what happens in the next episode. I hope we get to keep him forever as a pet. I would be really sad if anything would have happened to this this animal. But, you know, I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I really hope you had fun with this because this drove me crazy. And I just hope, at the very least, you guys got to have fun watching this to make all that struggle worth it. So there you have it. Have a great day. See you next time.